Hey, welcome back to the JSF tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse on the Mac. In particular, we're going to install the Java EE version of Eclipse because that has built in support for JSF. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is download Eclipse. So in our browser, we'll just visit eclipse.org. This will bring us to the Eclipse website, and over on the far right is a download button. Let's go ahead and click on that button, and this will take us to the download page. All right, so now we're at the download page. Uh, let's scroll down a bit, and we want to make use of the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. So it's really important, Java EE version. The Java EE version has built-in support for JSF. So let's go ahead and click on the um, download link here. I'm using a Mac right now, so I'll download that version. This will take us to the um, download page. I'll go ahead and click the option here for uh, the download mirror. The browser will um, prompt me to download the file. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then we'll start downloading it to our system. Now this will take a while. Um, so what I'll do is I'll kind of step away and I'll come back once the download is complete. All right, so we've downloaded the file. Now what we need to do is unzip Eclipse. So the first thing I'll do is I'll move into the downloads directory and there's the file that we just downloaded, the Eclipse Java EE. And I'll go ahead and double click this file to unzip it. All right, so now what I'd like to do, uh, now that this file is unzipped, uh, what I'd like to do is move it to my JSF for beginners folder that I created in a previous uh, video. So let me go ahead and open up a new finder window here. Just resize the windows, give me one second. So at the bottom I have my JSF for beginners. That's the one that we created in our previous Mac video. I'll go ahead and double click in there and that's where we installed our Tomcat from the previous video. I'll take this Eclipse folder that I just unzipped and I'll move it down to that JSF for beginners folder. Again, this JSF for beginners folder is just a little scratch. Uh, sample folder that we're going to use for our JSF class just to keep everything in one location. But good, we just simply move that from downloads over to our JSF for beginners. Good job. All right, so now that we have the file uh, in our JSF for beginners directory, let's go ahead and run Eclipse. So I'll simply select the Eclipse icon in this Eclipse folder and I'll just double click it and this will start up Eclipse for me. So I'll go ahead and hit open to start it to run. And then they're going to prompt me for a workspace. So a workspace is simply a folder where we put our sample code. Um, normally I would keep the defaults, but in this example, I'm going to change it. So I'm going to click on browse. And uh, I'll move over to this JSF for beginners directory. And then in the bottom left, I'm going to click on that button there for a new folder. And for new folder, I'll just type in the name of workspace. So I'll create a new workspace folder here in JSF for beginners. Uh, hit OK. And so this is what the layout should look like once we have that set up. So again, you can put your workspace anywhere you like, but I'm just putting it here in this one directory just so it keeps track of everything else for this JSF for Beginners class. All right, so once I'm happy with that, I go ahead and hit on OK. Uh, Eclipse will start running, and then I'll make it to the welcome screen. Um, I always like to verify that I'm using the Java EE version of Eclipse because it has built-in support for JSF. Um, I can go ahead and close this welcome. Over on the left-hand side, I have my Project Explorer. Uh, right now it's empty, nothing's there. So that's it. So at this point we have Eclipse installed, uh, we're able to run it, and everything looks really good. Good job so far. All right, so this wraps up the video. In this video, I showed you how to install Eclipse on the Mac. I also showed you how to download the file, unzip it, and then launch Eclipse. 